Shalom. All praises to Yahweh Bashimel Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashimel Shai Brakatham to you, hopefully, elect out there. Um, this is just going to be a video in regards to a question. Um, you know, a brother had asked uh, this past Saturday after the camp, and it was in, in regards to because you know, I do believe. Um, you know he's a he's a newer fruit, and you know, I do believe he's going out there to to teach on his own or whatnot. So, um, you know he had asked this question, and basically because you know when we when we go out there on the highways and hedges, and you know part of our um, customs is to you know we wear our garments or whatnot. Uh, garments of sackcloth and you know the brother he had he had asked me basically something along the lines of how when people come up asking questions about um what the garments represent and you know he just basically you know one one of the uh how how to resp how to respond to when people ask you know, what the what the garments represent you know, and I told him I, would, I, I told him I would get back with him, um, uh, you know, Lord's will next week or this week, this week's camp. But I figured why not just, you know, do this video on it just in case, you know, for, for any new fruit out there, more specifically brothers that are, you know, um, thinking about going out or, or are already going out to teach, you know, and. You know, you get you get asked the same question again in regards to what the the the, the, the sackcloth. You know, why we wear the sackcloth and pretty much what it represents. You know, so Lord's will. This is edifying. I'm, I'm going to start in the Book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 3 says, "And I will give power unto my two witnesses." All right. Now the two witnesses going into um the twelve tribes, and more specifically the the northern and the southern kingdoms. All right. Um, but yeah, that's that's a different, you know, that's another breakdown for another time. But the two witnesses is going into the northern and the southern kingdom. All right. It says, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. All right. And again, that that thousand two hundred and three score days. You know, that's, again, that's another topic in itself. But to the point, it said. It said that the the <laughs> the two witnesses will be prophesying in sackcloth. All right, you see, and again, pretty much the the, the garments that we wear, the the, the garments of sackcloth, because you know you got a lot of these Israelites. They um, the a lot of these groups they wear the the the, the fancy garments, right? You know, like you know they they they, they treat it like it's a, a fashion show, so to say. You know, but you see the 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 the, the the, the, the garments of sackcloth, you know, they, they pretty much represent a, a state of mourning. All right. You know, it pretty much goes into mourning because, you know, we're, we're in a state of mourning. You know, this is not our rest. As the scriptures say, let me get that in uh, Micah chapter 2. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. So, again, man, as long as we're going to, uh, as long as we're in this captivity, this, this hellhole of a captivity known as Babylon the Great, all right, you know, we're, we're, we're never going to be at rest, we're never going to be at ease, all right, you know, like the saying goes, man, it's always one thing or another, you know. I remember doing a video with the um, the lesson with the brothers this past Sunday, going into how oh one of the things um, the brothers mentioned was how you see in this in this captivity it's always going to be something you know the Lord's going to always going to put some type of affliction on you to let you know because you know one thing the Lord he needs us to be. He he needs us to be at 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 um. It's the word I'm looking for. 
He needs us to have a certain level of discomfort so that we don't get comfortable in this place. Because as I always say, man, this place was never set up for us to be comfortable to begin with. All right. America was set up to be a pure hellhole for the 12 tribes, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. All right. So it was never meant for us to be comfortable here in the first place. And actually speaking of, you know, uh, the, you know, the brothers, they know what I'm talking about when I say this, but you know, that uh, Sunday night, man, you know, we had a little, I'm not even going to say incident, but it was just, you know, one of those things, man, that, you know, we were you know, kicking it, having a, having a good time. We, you know, we're with the brothers or whatnot. And, you know, you, you, the Lord, he, he sent us that reminder to let us know that, Hey, this is not, this is not your arrest. You know, it, this is not your arrest. So the Lord's always going to, you know, have something to, to, to show us that this is not our rest. Cause again, America was never set up for us to be comfortable in the first place. You know, as a matter of fact, when you go into the word America, it goes into bitter, you know, the word, when you go into the word America, it goes into bitterness. And again, this, 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 this captivity has it, 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 been exactly that, man. It's, it's been one, one, this is the worst captivity that we've been in, man. You know, you see, so this is not our rest. And you see, um, I'm going to get, uh, where is that at? Isaiah. Isaiah 61, verse 1, because you see, we're, we're seeking rest. We're, we're, we're seeking our rest, you know, ultimately in the form of the, of the, uh, of the kingdom, all right? You know, in, in, in the form of uh, uh, Slakia, just Slakia. Um, that kind of threw me off, but as a matter of fact, Slakia, let me... um. Let me um let me pull out of here, man. Salakia. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. <sighs> Salakia about that. A little something. A little issue, but but anyways, um I'm going to read this in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Because, you know, part of the, 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 the good tidings, part of the gospel or, or the good news is because, you see, when it comes to our people, they think that because they lack that vision, all right. You know, they they lack that that uh, uh that eye self, all right. Um, the scriptures say when where there is no vision, the people perish, all right. Because when it comes to two thirds of our people, they think that America this is the end all be all. They they can't see they, because they lack that vision. They don't see. Anything past Babylon the Great, they think we're just gonna be here forever. They think we're just gonna be working nine to fives forever. It's just gonna be like this forever, working until to, to the day that we die. Well, part of the gospel, the good news, the good tidings is it's not gonna be like this forever. All right, and part of the good news is that you know we were only put in this hellhole of a captivity as a punishment because we went against our power. All right, and even more so. So further add on to the good news. Hey, this is the last time we got to go through this, 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 this hell home. And this is the last time that the nation of Israel is going to be in servitude to any other nation. All right. This is the last time we got, you know, we got, we got to go through this, you know. So this is all a part of the gospel, the good news. You know, this is not the end all be all, you know, and the way that prophecy is looking, the way that prophecy is speaking, man, is, is hey, amen. The Lord, he, he's getting ready to redeem his elect, man, you know. Um, but reading on, it says, he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. So you see, all right, you know, uh, a liberation is coming first and foremost to the elect. Because again, two thirds, they want to stay here. They Two thirds, they don't see, they think this is it. Well, hey, this is something, there's something in the, contained within the spirit of the elect all right. You know, the Lord will put the spirit on the elect. All right. You know, because the scriptures talk about how the, 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 the saints, man, they're, they're 
crying out day and night to the Lord, man. They, you know, day and night they're complaining. We're complaining. The hopefully left, we're complaining day and night to the Lord. You know, because hey, we understand. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Washai, you know, that hey, as I read, man, this is not our rest, man. This is not it, man. We 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 got to get the hell up out of here, man. We've got to get the hell up out of here. All right. You know, because they, again, man, it, it, it's pure hell. It's pure hell. We're in a state of mourning right now, man. And again, to go back to the point. That's what the 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 the, um, the the garments of sackcloth. That's 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 what they represent. It represents us being in a state of mourning, right? I'm gonna go to Psalm, Psalm chapter sixty, uh, Psalm chapter sixty-nine. The point is in verse uh, 11, but I'm going to read up. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, because for thy sake I have borne reproach. Shame have covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of... Of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was my reproach. So basically, a uh, uh, long story short, it, you know, it, it was pure hell. Now, when you look through what King David had, what he had to go through, it was, it was, it was pure hell. King David, he called, he called, he called a, a pure hell. All right. He called pure hell. So reading in verse 11, it says, I made sackcloth as my garment and I became a proverb to them. So you see, and hey, you know, because hey, this, like I said, this is the lowest that we've ever been as a nation. This is the worst captivity that we've been in. We're, you know, we're proverbs, bywords, you know, where we're a laughing stock. All right. The, you know, the, the whole world is against us, man. All odds are stacked against us, man, in this place, you know. And again, to the point, hey, it's, it's pure hell. It's pure hell. So that's what the garments of sackcloth, that's that's what they represent, man. The fact that we're in we're in a state of mourning, because again, this is this is not our rest. You know? This is not our rest, man. So hey, the Lord, you know, um, the going into again back in Revelation. Matter of fact, before I go back, I'm gonna go back to that before that, I'm gonna get this in um Deuteronomy. Um Deuteronomy. And pardon me, because, you know, I'm on the job, so I got to keep checking this stupid thing. But um, Deuteronomy chapter, not 32, uh, verse uh, Deuteronomy 12. Deuteronomy chapter 12. Uh, Where's that at, man? Oh, yeah, verse 9. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 9, it says, For ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your power giveth you. So you see, all right, no matter what we obtain on the side, you know, because one way or the other, if you're an Israelite, if your lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, you're going to feel these curses one way or the other. You know, just don't think for a second just because you got these guys like LeBron James, right? These guys like LeBron James. These um, you know, these so-called these these guys that so-called made it within Israel, you know, these celebrities and whatnot, you know, hey, you know, the, uh, they're still dealing with the curses as well. You know, make no mistake about it, they're still dealing with the curses. You know, because like I said, one way or the other, if you're an Israelite, if your lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're gonna feel these curses, man. You see. Because, again, this is not our rest. And, uh, you know, a problem with a lot of our people, man, they try to obtain that rest. They try to attain the kingdom because, you know, this is, this is, you know, something that I, I make this statement often about how Jake, two thirds, even two thirds in their spirit, they know something's wrong. They know things are off. They know this ain't it. But like I said before, because they don't have that vision, they lack the, 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 that, that eye self that, you know, they lack that vision. So, you know, uh, they try to pursue the kingdom on this side, man, and it's just not going to work. 
It's just not going to work. You know, everything that we long for, even two thirds, everything that, we, you know, uh, when it comes to the, to, to, to the elect and to the two thirds, everything that we long for, we're going to get it on the other side, man. You know, we're going to get it on the other side. You see, but as of right now, man, again, you know, the scriptures talk about how we have to bear the indignation of the Lord because, again, we went off. We sinned against our power and he put us in his captivity as a punishment. You see, so, again, this is why, again, man, you know, we're we're in that state of mourning. This, this is why we're, we're mourning. It's, it's pure hell, man. We, we, you know, 12 tribes, man, the tribes, man, we, we can't catch a break for nothing, man. You know, we, we, we can't catch a break for nothing. But it was set up that way. All right. Because, hey, you know, the only solution um, to all of our problems is Yahushua, man. He has to come and he has to deliver us. He has to destroy this place. He has to get us out of here, man. That's the only solution. You see, but until then, it's going, it's going to be pure hell, man. It's going to be pure hell. You know. So I'm going to go back to Revelation 11. I'm going to read it one more time. Yeah, I got to get back to get back to work uh, Revelation chapter 11 verse 3 again and I will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth so again just to sum it up all right when you know people ask the question uh, you know, you, you you guys, you you wearing those 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 garments. You know, well, what what is it about? What does it mean? What is, what does it represent? Well, it represents mourning. We're in a state of mourning. You know, as I read in Isaiah sixty one, man, we're captives seeking to be freed, man, seeking to be liberated. You know, you see, man. So we're in a state of mourning, man. You know, so that's that's what it represents. You know, so um, you know, hopefully this is edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Yahweh Bashim Shai brought a thumb to you, hopefully elect. Lord's one until next time. Shalom.